What's going on, Screaming Eagles? This is Jet Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In our last video, we were helping out Mr. West Dickens get money for supplies and armor so we can infiltrate Bill Williamson's hideout. After we helped him out, he told us to go see Seth and go find an arms dealer named Irish so that way we can get the proper weapons. Now, we're going to go see Seth right now at Coots Chapel. Now, before we do that, I just want to remind you guys, if you like the game so far, hit that like button. If you get something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles and more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle 101 Alright. Here we are. That's Coots Chapel, so let's see what's going on here. A gentle drive with a friend. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. Ooh. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take him back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. Okay. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. Oh. So tumbleweed we Keep go. to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. But kills everyone in the end. <laughs> They ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! We don't see them bodies first. Give them up! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! Thank you. Hell. I'm going left. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You're stiff as oh, Relax. I just want a little look-see. Where's my map? Come on, whisper to me. 
I'm hurrying. It's hard to shoot and drive at the same time. Phew. Inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Yeah, after you find your treasure, you crazy lunatic. <sighs> well, let's find Seth. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. <sighs> that was crazy. Get myself set on fire like that it was not the... I want to do. Let the dead bury their dead. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. ah, That's quite a stint. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. <laughs> According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Okay, let's go to the mansion then. Let's go. Too. I just need to get into cover. Phew. That was a close one. Come on, let's go. Down the rabbit's hole. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Annoying prick! Come on, show yourself. I am killing them all. Why don't you do some shooting? Damn, you jump it. Two doors. 
Oh, like him better dead. Yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. I'm gonna kill you. Whoa. Phew. Think you can just walk in here? Can I have this? I had it with you, bastard. After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. <laughs> okay. So the quest for a glass eye. This is all it was. Just a little something for my trouble. Yeah. I'm gonna loot dead man right now for money and ammunition. Seems to work out for me, so. All right, to the front door. I was going to try to fast travel back to Armadillo. Come on. I guess I can't do that yet. Gotta be outside of town first for it to work. Oh well. Come on. Do, 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 do. And now we're going to go see Irish. About getting some guns. Let's see here. Well, this is a good way to fast travel is to pick a destination. So let's see here. Farm, uh, play armadillo. Here we go. Best way to fast travel. Let's see here. Um, what time is it? Yeah, I want to go to sleep first. Save my progress. Excuse me, madam. I 
don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. You know, just to be honest, I just want to switch over the day. So I got two. Sleep for six hours. Look at that. Rough landing, but that's okay. So let's go see what Irish is up to. A Frenchman, a Willsman, and an Irishman. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? Oh. Fuck off, boy. Oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Watch your man, you got goddamn bitch. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on then, let's find this guy. Okay. Following an Irishman, following an Irishman. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow, and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are hoarded up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a blood dog with their first Let's go. porcupine. What are you doing back there? Up to it, fella. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Ah, be quiet, you Irish bastard. I saved your life from drowning. Or at least being drowned. Quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good to know where from the... It's good to know where from the fight. What the real Irishman. Hmm. 
Double barrel shotgun. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Well, now I gotta go find Irish again. Where did he toddle off to this time? I wonder. Oh, he's at Benedict Point. I wonder if I could fast travel. No. Here we go. Here we go. Travel to a destination. We need to get to Benedict's Point. Here we go. Hmm. Hey, look at that. Right in the day and right. All right, let's go find that drunken Irishman. It's around here somewhere. Man is born on Tom Trouble. Who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. <sighs> and it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Come on, Dad. We'll find your precious gun. Oh, yeah. We better go find the precious gun. So I'm on my horse. Now, come on. Alright, come on, girl. Listen, fellas, either we ride together or we don't ride at all. Boy, love me, faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. 
That pair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. <laughs> here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Stop, damn it. And that's a good, decent thought I ever heard from you. Whew. Get the lay of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Open fire! Whoops, did not mean to shoot the horse. That was a complete accident. And I need to find more bullets. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I find what I find and take what I can find. And that is the question of the day. What do, does miners need a Gatling gun for? It's a very bad idea to leave TNT lying out like this. Whoa. <clears throat> TNT is not a good place to be around. Set you on fire.
There we go. <laughs> Come on, let's go, 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 go. There's a lot of these guys in here. right there I guess we can't go through that way. I guess we gotta go this way then. Woo. Keep going. Push it, push it. Keep on a pushing, push it through. That's how we do it. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Sweet. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down here. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. All right. <laughs> Woo what did I tell you? Piece of cake. <laughs> Yeah, please do. All right. Well, we did it. So with that, we are going to end the video from right here. I all hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jetty Ghoul 101. Have a good one.